Wednesday, July 7th at 1.30 in the afternoon. I thought today I would give myself a photo challenge, like I need one of those. Um, but it would get me off of the, out, out of the office and out here shooting some photos. So I figured, let's go out and try to get some midday photos and see if we can turn them into something that is actually beautiful. You know, we know shooting at golden hour is always nice, sunset, sunrise, really good times, but middle of the day is always a tough shoot. So I wanted to see if I could find some compositions. Um, I'm up Big Cottonwood Canyon, and there's a really nice river that runs right here. There's also a waterfall called Donut Falls that's up the way. So I'm gonna wander, just see what I come up with, record it, and let's see what kind of photos we can get in the middle of the day when everybody tells you it is not the time to shoot photos. All right, y'all, let's get on the road and get moving. Check this out. Super hard light though, look at that. This will be a real challenge. Feet are getting wet. So what I'm doing here is uh, just some handheld. Trying to frame up a few shots. doesn't really even need to be in focus. It's more about trying to figure out what it is you want to actually shoot. Then, you just take a few minutes go through them and see what you like. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have set up right here in the middle of the river and I am shooting this at 1 60th of a second at uh, F6.3 trying to get it nice and sharp all around, but I am probably gonna try to photo stack this. Ooh, that's pretty sharp all the way around. But I do want to stack my focus and what that means is I'm gonna focus on the foreground, the stuff close to the camera, the middle ground and the background so that I can hopefully blend them all together in Photoshop to get a really crisp, clean photo. I'm also bracketing a little bit so that I can bring down the exposure in the super bright areas, like what I'm shooting right now. So I'm taking these in stages because the light, as you can see from shifting on me, is constantly changing right now. So what I'm doing is just checking my viewfinder. And using the zoom tool to really try to get in here and see what I've got. I am shooting a little darker because again, it's changing colors here and the light is moving. Uh, I do not have a polarizer on because I kind of want to catch some of the water running through here. 
but I am going to try this with a polarizer and also with a uh, different UV filter to see if I can block a little more light and slow it down to get a little bit more blur inside of the photo. Um, but the trail is right there, right there. I'm just kind of standing in the creek. All right, I think I've got it. And what I'm gonna do is show you guys my composure from the GoPro, just cause it'll be a little easier. All right, I hope you guys can actually hear me over the uh, waterfall here. So I put on a neutral density filter, a four, um, because I wanted to try and see what this actually looks like if I can slow it down because now I'm shooting at 1 50th of a, or 1 15th of a second so that should give me a lot more blur in my water and it does All right, I really like that. So, let's, uh, let's see if I can show you the composure here. I'm shooting it at 1 15th, and I'm actually gonna drop it to one, one tenth of a second there. And I have it uh, on a 10 second timer so that I can get rid of any camera shake. And let's see if it looks any good. Yeah, not bad. It's a little, little bright in places. So I'm gonna speed it up and really try to shoot up here. As you can see, I've moved my exposure point and I'm trying to uh, bracket the exposure a little bit. And now I'll come down here, turn that back up to one tenth of a second. Get my focus. Can you see how much brighter everything is now? I might even wanna change up my f-stop a little bit. And, well, it actually looks pretty good. Let's focus in on this rock right here. And as you can see, the light is just changing everywhere, but hopefully by stacking like this, I'll be able to uh, get some good colors out of this whole thing. But as you can see, I'm just changing my focal point. So when I get it home, I can move it into Photoshop and then stack all of them on top of each other and get a really nice crisp photo. I'm also just getting eaten alive by black flies, mosquitoes, no see uh, That's why the long socks and the long sleeve should have probably worn pants.
trying to get all those exposures right. Ooh. Got numb feet. And lots of different lights on the camera, on the waterfall, all throughout here. I got lots of different light going on. All right. I'm going to get out of the water and see what we got. And give my feet a break. All right, again, you can see how harsh the light is. And hopefully I actually got some pretty good photos down by the creek there. All right, now I'm gonna continue up to Donut Falls, which judging by all the people I've seen on the trail should be a madhouse, but it's beautiful. Pretty sweet up here. Just gorgeous. And there's all these little chipmunks that are just everywhere. So it is now 4.36, time for me to head home and start making some dinner for the night. But I think I got a couple decent slow-mo waterfall shots that I'll be able to use, we'll see. Overall, nice hike. It's beautiful out here, check it. So overall successful, I would say. Uh, absolutely gorgeous out. I think I'm gonna pack this thing up and just start hiking. So it's a falafel and Israeli salad night. Should be delicious, but beautiful day. Hopefully I got something. If I did, this is what they'll look like. Check them out.
right, y'all. Be well. Thanks for checking out Cam Shack. Hopefully you like this uh, mini tutorial. If you do, I'll start making some more of them, but just a shot, something different. Be well, my friends. Peace.